This video could be an hour long and I still won't be able to get through all the new makeup releases. Holiday time. It's the Wild West. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series that I post whenever I feel like it. Talking over all of the new makeup releases that have been announced. We have so much to talk about for holiday. We have some exciting new releases. I have some PR to share with you. We have a new brand. We have a lot going on. I used to do this series on a weekly basis and since I've cut back on buying makeup in general and trying so much makeup, uh, I decided to cut back on this series as well because it kind of helps me not have FOMO for all of the new makeup releases when I was talking about them every single week But I do like to pop on especially when we have a lot of releases or some exciting things to talk about And just kind of give my two cents on the new makeup releases So that is today's video. I will link everything in my description box I usually start with an outfit of the day But I said that I have moved recently and I haven't quite figured out like my full Setup and such but I think if I like go to the side I'm going to show you my outfit. I just have on some jean shorts and this little like bra top from Amazon. And then I put uh, this little like cover up on top of it because we're trying to convince ourselves in Las Vegas that it's fall. I mean, it's still getting into like the 90s during the day, but like the morning and the evenings are chilly. So then it's like fall. You know, we're like trying to bust out like our fall stuff. So that's what we're doing. Uh, but I'm excited to talk over the new makeup releases and just, I don't, I'm trying to think, I feel like maybe the last Will I Buy It I did, I was still in my friend's uh, guest room. So I have a personal update, just the kind of things have been a little bit crazy. Um, at the beginning of September, my apartment was broken in two. So I ended up living with some friends for a while while I got a new place and then I have moved into my new apartment and I've just been trying to get settled in here. So. When it comes to makeup, I really was just working out of one makeup bag for the last like six weeks. And even now, uh, it's really funny to me because I just hit pan in, in eyeshadow and I'm like, this would never happen except I've been using this quad every single day. I mean, that really showed me how quickly you can actually pan makeup if you're not using a different palette every single day. Uh, and I've also had a lot of my makeup packed up, so it's been a little bit harder to do some of my videos because I don't have my full collection to show. And even when it comes to new makeup releases, I've just been so um, in the zone trying to get this new place set up and organized and figure out where everything goes and storage and, you know, making sure like I got my dog all set up and she's feeling comfortable here and liking the new place and everything like that. So it's just been a really hectic, um, you know, past month or so, but... I'm excited to sit down and just kind of chill out and talk over the new makeup releases and like I said I have one thing in PR that I want to show you first because I'm so excited about this collection. The box is quite large but this just came in today. Today the Sigma and Beauty and the Beast collection came in and I am so excited. I was This is one of those that I was like watching the tracking for. I don't do that very often I'm not going to lie to you and I was like when am I, even my mom messaged me and was like, are you getting the Beauty and the Beast collection? I was like, I hope so, uh, because I love Beauty and the Beast, I love Sigma, and I'm really excited about this. When I saw pictures of the eyeshadow palette, I was like, oh, come on, it looks so beautiful. So here we go, here is the Sigma Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette. It's so Stunning. <gasps> I really want to do like a sit down like get ready with me I haven't done one of those in quite some time. So I really would like to do that. I don't talk about anything. Let me know um, Lots of things I could talk about but You know, we can just sit down and play with makeup, but I just think this palette is so beautiful This is the palette that I really want to use. We have like some of the pinks over here Browns this beautiful kind of like dark blue is so stunning. I love some of the imprints on here like bookworm That has the little book on it. I mean, are you kidding me? Belle is so stunning I'm really really excited for this palette when I saw this collection. I was like, yes Please like this is one of those again, you know, I've been doing this for a long time I get a lot of PR things like that but there's collections that come through that I'm like, even if I was not going to get that, it's just so stunning. Like, I need to have it. And then we also have the face palette as well. A lot of times Sigma does um, duo. This is really interesting to have the three options in here. You have a really beautiful 
sparkly makeup bag. Oh, there's like little roses in here. And then also some brushes. Oh, this powder sculpt is so nice. I've been using this as my bronzer brush. If you didn't see, I just did a massive brush to clutter. Massive. I had 385 brushes in that video. And I said, because I'm moving, I was like, I swear I'm missing a bag too. I found two more bags of brushes. I had well over 400 brushes in my collection. It was wild. So if you haven't seen that declutter, check it out. But I got five more brushes. I will probably pass these along because I do have all of these brushes. But the eyeshadow palette, I'm so excited for. Like that is the thing that I would have bought from this collection because it's just so, so beautiful. So this collection I believe is available now by the time this video goes out. Um, the collection will be up, so if you want to grab it, you can use my affiliate discount code, which is Samantha, and that will save you on the Beauty and Beast collection, but this palette is so stunning. Like, I cannot wait to use it. All right, so I'm going to pop over to Trend Mood and go through some new releases here. We have a lot of holiday. We have a lot of, like, holiday sets, bundles, things like that, um, and I've definitely noticed a lot of lip products so from summer fridays i hear a lot of people talk about their lip butter balm and they have a new flavor this is in iced coffee i really do want to get one of these we have the sephora sale coming up i'll touch on those dates in a little bit i think i'm just gonna go ahead and finally buy one they're 24 dollars individually or they have this set now i think i feel like i just need one I feel like I just need it. Like, everyone talks about it. I'm like, I feel like I should finally just have it. Do you have the Summer Fridays lip balm? Do you love it? Let me know. Uh, we also have a new collection from Lawless, the new Little Lady Daisy collection. The Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. This is at $26. There's also a lip liner. Um, there's a cream lipstick. You can get the bundle for $63 or the collection for $102. I just did my last video, right? My last one was on the best lip glosses of all time and lawless beauty came in very high and this was based on your opinions not just mine not just my own so it's based on your opinions and the lawless beauty came in super high which i was excited to see because it's one of my favorites so i actually just went through a whole lawless forget the filler gloss and i have another one so this isn't something that i need i do really like their lip liners as well the cream lipsticks i don't love as much just because i'm not a big satin lipstick girl so just personally not a favorite of mine but i do also really like their lip liners but that's a good set to check out if you have been wanting to try that one. I see e.l.f. Cosmetics is coming out with a new lip oil. This is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil, the nourishing and tinted lip oil with a high shine finish, non-sticky, has a fresh and minty scent, and these are going to be $8. I feel as though there are some other lip products that are calling to me a little bit more right now, but that's such a great price. I feel like if I was at Target and I like saw these, it somehow would end up into my cart. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, what? I feel like I'd be looking at toilet paper and all of a sudden I'm like, what? Who put that elf lip oil into my cart? Like I don't even know what happened. So I feel like I could see it happening, but it's not something that I'm like running to go grab for myself. So Naturum, Naturum, Naturum something like that. Uh, we have the Cafe Collection, and this includes their Fido Glow Lip Balm. So this has Shea Butter, Plant Squalene to moisturize and cushion the lips. These are only $10, so that's not bad, or you can get a bundle with four for $34. To me, it's more beneficial. If I'm purchasing a lip set, it's usually more beneficial for me to just purchase one versus a bundle because I just can't get through a bundle so quickly. Again, unless you're using one makeup bag. For six weeks then you can really be going through some stuff these look nice again i i feel like i'm more leaning towards summer fridays at the moment if i was going to be grabbing a new lip product All right we have quite a few new collections out we've had some for halloween as well so glam light i think has a couple different halloween collections so this one just says halloween collection friday the 13th by glam light all right so we have a handful of different products including this eyeshadow palette which i have not like, have you been able to see any of the photos? I did not even scoot over. <laughs> I did not even scoot over in this video. My bad, my bad. But this is the Friday the 13th palette. Okay, so I'll say this one, it's just going to be a little bit too, like, dark and grungy for my particular taste. I'm, you know, I'm just more of, like, a neutral girl. I don't do, like, the dark grungy tones all that often. But then I was a little bit caught off guard because they also did one that's, like, ghost face. I don't watch a lot of movies, especially horror movies scare the bejesus out of me, so I don't really watch those very often. But then we have this palette, and this is Ghostface. 
and I'm like, okay, I feel like it's just a little bit similar to each other. And I also feel like both are kind of similar to the Chucky palette as well. Because when I was scrolling through Trend Mood and I saw the Ghost Face palette, I was like, oh, that's the Chucky palette, but then it wasn't, it was the Ghost Face. And then as I was scrolling some more, I was like, there's the Ghost Face palette, but it wasn't, it was Friday the 13th. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? Like, it, it's just, it just feels like a lot. There's like a lot going on. Uh, I feel very overwhelmed. Uh, glam light to me is kind of, I don't know. Sometimes they remind me a little bit of ColourPop of like very fast collections. Like, I mean, I, I, ColourPop is, is very special in how they can launch literally every other day. But sometimes it feels like glam light is right on the heels of that and it overwhelms me a bit. So nothing about like the color stories really jump out at me so that's something that i can skip for myself but did you pick up any of those from glam light urban decay is coming out with this moon dust palette this one is limited edition it has a multi-dimensional shimmering palette and it's 39 dollars. this to me just doesn't seem very exciting and that's okay and if it's something that excites you that's okay too we all you know we don't have to agree it's just makeup but I'm just not really sure. Like, I, if maybe it was like a single of this or something, like, like you buy a single. To me, I'm just not going to get a lot of use out of the Moon Dust palette, but I'm sure there's probably a market for it and people will want to grab it. It's just not really going to be for me. Uh, House Labs has quite a few things out for holiday. We have an eyeshadow palette for $49. There's the Lip Oil Trio set. The House Labs lip oils were mentioned quite a bit for my best lip gloss video as well. So I'm kind of curious to try one of their glosses. I still do want to pick up the concealer from House Labs as well. Um, and then also in here we have a liquid lipstick set for $39. No nothing about the eyeshadow palettes really jump out at me. They just, they don't really like grab my attention. I don't think I need to buy the set because again for me sets aren't beneficial to purchase i can see them being beneficial for a lot of people for me personally they're not but i still would like to try one of their lip oils charlotte tilbury has a lot for the holiday 2023 collection and probably like i feel like there's probably like even more coming charlotte is one of those that i get curious what the holiday launches are going to be but oftentimes i'm not super like doing a double take but in here, we have the Beautyverse palette with nine shades, Pillow Talk, Dreams Come True. So we have like some face palettes. We have Charlotte's Lucky Chest of Beauty Secrets, which has a whole lot of products in there. We have some blush and glows, a um, lot of different sets happening. So again, if Charlotte Tilbury is a brand that intrigues you, but you haven't purchased anything from them yet, but you're curious about a few things, Holiday is a good time to be able to look because she really does do a lot of sets, a lot of bundles. Again, if you've tried more from the collection or you, you have a lot, like myself, probably not going to be the best thing for you. But um, if, you do, if you want to try out the brand, there's usually a, a lot um, that gets pretty discounted around the holidays as well. So again, just kind of me glancing over everything. Uh, you know, I mean the eyeshadow palette looks pretty. It's a little nine pan, but Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows aren't my absolute favorite. I really love her lip products. I really love like her cheek products. So these like the blush and the highlights, if I was wearing highlight, that would be something that would pop out at me a little bit more. But we also have like little ornaments with like the um, glow wands in there. Those are really popular items. So I can see that being um, a set that is pretty popular as well for me. And will I buy anything? Probably not. Um, nothing that really jumps out at me. And then also going over to Mac in their holiday collection, the Bizarre Blizzard Bash Holiday 2023 collection from Mac. So a lot of different products in here as well. A lot of eyeshadows, uh, a lot of sparkle eyeshadow toppers, a lot of lip products, um, a lot of lip trios. There's a bunch of different kits that are going to be available. I just feel like MAC really hasn't been doing it for me for a while. I, I And I used to get excited about their holiday collections as well, but I really feel it was that highlight that just had the overspray on it. That was when I was like, like the bubble had, had burst for me on MAC Cosmetics. Like I can still remember making that video and being like, oh man, like it's just not overspray. Who else remembers that? Um, so I don't know. Sometimes when I look at their holiday collections, I just, I have trouble getting really into it i do still like mac lipsticks but i don't like the eyeshadows never really did much for me so i think that's a holiday collection that i can pass up 
Uh, I see that Patrick Ta is coming out with an eye topper for holiday. This is the major dimensional eye topper, a loose glitter topper. These are going to be $28 each. To me, I can get something kind of similar with like a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and those are like $8 or something like that. So just an, uh, an eye topper doesn't usually make me very excited. AVD has their holiday 2023 collection. We have an eyeshadow palette for $28. There's some different lip products. There's a lipstick vault, the tattoo water liner set. Mm, nothing really doing for me out of this one. The eyeshadow has six shades. Eh, is there, I would like to know what is a holiday launch? Cause I've talked about them in probably the last like two or three will I buy it. We've had a lot of holiday to go over. Has there been a brand that has really jumped out at you that you're like, ooh, yes, like this? Is the holiday we are also only in you know midway through october so there's going to be more coming but i'm just curious if have, is there's anything that's you know caused you to do the double take leave it in the comments a few more like halloween as well from unearthly cosmetics the devour halloween collection we have eight items for 145 dollars there's a 12 pan palette a blush highlighter duo three satin liquid lipsticks two lip glosses and one lip oil okay this is a pretty palette um, I kind of like the like the pink with the greens. I feel like that's a fun color scheme and not something that's like super overdone for Halloween. Um, I do like the Unearthly Cosmetics eyeshadows. I've tried their the glosses as well, and I do think the glosses are really nice. For me though, not anything that I feel like I have to pick up. And then Melt Cosmetics did a Halloween collab with Disney, and this is the Halloween Town collection. So again, a lot of different products. The eyeshadow palette is sixty dollars. We have lipsticks liners um, and then also like some other products like mirrors and, and bags or the full collection is 175 to me this is colorful you know we got some blues in there and greens and the purples and there's like a yellow um it's interesting but it's not necessarily my color scheme i'm not super loyal to melt cosmetics but i know a lot of people love the brand so much love the palette so much so i would be curious to know if you pick this one up for yourself the eyeshadow palette that is back is from makeup by mario the ethereal eyeshadow palette is coming back for holiday 2023 limited edition multi-finish eyeshadow palette with 12 shades and this is 68 dollars I think this first came out last year, right? If I'm saying that correctly, I think it came out last year and I know a lot of people really enjoyed it, especially, you know, those, uh, the neutral lovers like myself. Um, it's a very, you know, I, like I kind of want to use the word basic, but not in a bad way. Um, it's just kind of one of those basic palettes, but has these beautiful shimmers in there as well. I can recall hearing good things about the palette. Um, just kind of, what I can kind of remember a little bit. Uh, I would love to know if you tried it or if you feel like, okay, missed it last year. I don't want to miss it this time around. I would really like to know. I, I genuinely don't feel like I'm in the market for a new eyeshadow palette, especially. I, I, I really do feel like with everything that has transpired over the last like six weeks or whatever, it's really opened my eyes even more to how much makeup I have and I owned and I would try versus what I actually like need to use. I, I mean, it's just everything over the last few weeks has been, you know, interesting and, and life altering and, you know, all those things. Um, but especially with 2023 being the year of like trying to cut down on makeup and how much I'm buying and how much I'm consuming the last few weeks have really shown me a lot as well and it just doesn't give me the urge to purchase as much makeup as i have been the last several years so i don't know it's so pretty like just going back to this eyeshadow palette it really is so pretty like it would make a great addition to my eyeshadow palette collection it's just one of those i don't think that i have to have it and then natasha denona came out with some new eyeshadow palettes these are the mini trio chrome so all new shades in royal silver and periwinkle blue so i'm not a big blue eyeshadow fan i can wear like basically any other color but blue is just it's not my favorite it's not something that i gravitate towards so when i saw that this was being released from natasha i was like this is a, a launch that i know that i can skip i love natasha denona one of my favorite brands one of my favorite brands for eyeshadow formula in particular but if i'm not going to get a lot of use out of a palette I don't feel like it's necessary for me to purchase it. So I skipped on these. I would love to know if you grab them or if you're still thinking about grabbing them. My discount code is Samantha on the website and it gets you a 15% off. 
but I'm curious. She also came out with the mini bronze palette, which has three shadows in there. And I'm wondering if the if there will be something else too for holiday. I feel like maybe there will be another release in there, but we'll have to see. One more thing that I wanted to mention under Halloween, and this was a collaboration. I know I'm late speaking on this because I haven't done a Will I Buy It video in a minute, but my friend Aniel Ganikvis did a collaboration with Odin's Eye. These are the two palettes that they came out with, and then she also did release some lip products as well. So this one is the Ghost Palette. This is the one that I wore when she was in Vegas last time. Why was she in Vegas last time? Oh, we went to the Cosmoprof. When we went to Cosmoprof, I used, she brought this eyeshadow palette with her and I used down here the oranges. I love wearing orange eyeshadow. So I was so excited to get like a little, you know, get to try it early, but the purples in here are so beautiful. Odin's Eye makes such good quality eyeshadows. I'm really excited for Angie to do another collab with them. Her last collab went over so well, so I've known about this for a while, um, but I've been so excited for it to finally launch. And then this one is the Trick or Treat palette. I love that she did a Halloween collection. I feel like it makes so much sense to, you know, her, her makeup style. Um, she obviously loves Odin's Eye as well, and like I said, their formula is so nice. So I believe that these are both available on the website now. I highly recommend the formula. For me, if I had to gravitate towards one palette or the other, to me, I gravitate a little bit more towards the Ghost Town palette. I really do love these oranges in here, but some of these like purples and pinks are just really fun as well. Uh, but I know, again, kind of like later talking about these, I like shared about them on Instagram and TikTok and all of that. But I definitely wanted to include these in here and let you know that they're still available. I do have a code with Odin's Eye, which is Samantha. I don't think it works on collab um, products, but if there was anything else that you wanted to pick up from the site, you can use that. I will say, like I mentioned, the Sephora sale is coming up, so let me give you these dates. So we have starting the 27th is the Rouge First Access. I don't know if I'm still Rouge. I don't know when is it like the end of the year that it would like turn over or whatever because there's not a not an, any chance that I will be rouge next year so um, maybe I still am now but it is starting October 27th for 20% off uh, VIB starts the 31st for 15% off insider also the 31st for 10% off the Sephora collection will be 30% off and this ends November 6th the code is time to save I do think there are a few things I'm gonna grab from Sephora. I want another Lawless Powder. Um, like I mentioned, like the House Labs um, concealer, the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. Uh, I did do a video, um, what's in my like $1,000 Sephora fantasy cart. So there's quite a few, not quite a few, but there's a, a few products from that video that I do want to grab as well. So I will plan on doing a haul and then I do wanna do a Sephora video. Let me know if there's anything in particular you, you wanna see like, my top 10 must-haves from Sephora, just like favorites of all time or holy grail, like whatever you wanna see. Do you wanna see a longer video with a lot of products? Do you wanna see a shorter video with like, these are my top, top picks? Let me know if you have a preference on how I do the Sephora video, but that one will be coming up. And then also some beauty news, Fenty is going to be coming into Ulta Beauty um, and the like Ulta that's available at Target. So that's really interesting to me. This is gonna be starting October 1st. I think a lot of people are going to be very excited that Fenty will be easily accessible at Target. They are just going to be the targets that have the Ulta Beauty in in there as well. In Las Vegas, I feel like there's, I, I, I think I'm close to like five targets and I'm pretty sure only one has the Ulta Beauty in there. So you will have to be able to find that, but it's just making it more and more accessible to more people. So I can definitely see there being a lot of excitement over this. That has started now. Again, like rolling through Target, all of a sudden we got Fenty alongside like my hot chocolate. I'm like, wait, how does Fenty get in my cart? Like I, mm, I can see that happening. And to wrap things up, I have I think just two more to talk about. So this holiday release, I'm actually very excited for, and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills, and that they are coming out with mini eyeshadow palettes. And when I saw the mini sultry, I was like, one, will you just bring the sultry back? Like just bring the sultry back already. But if you're not gonna bring the sultry back, we at least get a mini sultry, and I think that's really exciting. We also have a mini modern renaissance coming. Okay, right now I just see coming soon in October, and then I haven't seen any other updates from them, but these are nine pan palettes. 
The Sultry is my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and it's one of my favorite palettes in my collection just in general. It was limited edition. I wish that it would come back. I talk about it all the time, but the mini, I think that one could be a very popular release. I'm curious to see how it goes. And even though I have the Sultry, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, should I get the mini? I think that I can talk myself out of it. I think I can do it. But it looks, it's just, it's so beautiful. And then the mini Modern Renaissance, I think that was really smart to do the Modern Renaissance as well. These releases have me excited. I wonder what else Anastasia will be doing for Halloween or if they'll be doing any other um, of the mini palettes as well. But that did have me pretty stoked. And then I do want to finish. We do have a new brand and I just want to touch on this briefly. I was hoping I would have my PR in today because I saw a bunch of people getting it on Instagram today, but I still, I haven't got my package yet. But Allie Glines has launched her own beauty brand. Very excited for her. And this is Ravy Beauty. So Allie already has her Allie Klein's makeup bags and now she is going into uh, color cosmetics as well. We have the lip products that are available now and these are the Effortless Lips. These are $22 each. You can get a trio for $60 or the complete collection for $80 and that also does come with a makeup bag. And from Allie, it says the buildable lip formula of my dreams, not just a lipstick, not just a lip balm, it's effortless lips. I am so excited to try these. Allie's re Allie reached out to me a while ago, let me know what she was working on and that she wanted to send them to me. So I am eagerly watching my mailbox because I really want to try these lip products. I think Allie and I have pretty similar makeup styles and makeup taste so i'm really excited to see what she has come up with i know how much goes into launching a brand and how hard it can be especially when you're dealing with formulas and colors and labs and all of that it is so much work so i'm super proud of Allie. she's someone who i consider a friend and i will have the ravi beauty website linked down below let me know if you're going to pick up any of the lip products and i'm looking forward to seeing what else she's going to come up with next you know like what is going to be her next launch one of those brands i think i'm just going to be excited when each release comes out because i know Allie pretty well and i know how much she puts into everything that she does and how much time and like quality she wants everything to be so it just it has me excited for it i don't think things will be like rushed or like overwhelming or anything like that and you know she's obviously such a lover of beauty and makeup and she's been doing youtube for a long time and really knows her stuff and i look up to a lot of her videos i replicate a lot of her videos as well i'm always talking about her for video inspiration also so i will be trying out the ravey beauty lipsticks as soon as i get them and a big congratulations to ali but other than that, that is it for the first Will I Buy It in my new apartment. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about all of these new makeup releases, and I'll catch you in the next one.